Hi, it's Pastor Steve again. I want to welcome you back to The Pause. It's such a joy to be able to spend this time with you because tomorrow we begin what is the high point, the most sacred week in the life of Christianity. It's the week that Jesus enters to Jerusalem knowing that he has come to answer every prayer to restore life and hope and salvation to a world that is lost and broken because of sin. He comes to answer every prayer. He knew the plan of salvation with the Father and the Spirit, and this is the week that it all culminates. It begins with him entering Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, and the people so excited to see him, they're laying down palm branches, and they're laying down their clothes to affirm, and they say, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now, Hosanna means literally, Lord, save us. And as we are praying with all of the concerns about the coronavirus, we are praying for healing. But I want you to know that when we come together tomorrow to pray on Palm Sunday, I'd like to invite you to join us as together we unite our hearts as one to pray for God to dramatically move in a mighty way to bring healing to this nation and to this world. We believe that Jesus is our Savior who has taken all of our sins and our pain and our loss to the cross and there he pays the price for that and wins for us a glorious victory on Resurrection Sunday. And so for us this week is all about the power of hope because Jesus is our source of hope. I think we have great doctors and nurses and good leaders in our nation, but Jesus is the one who not only is our savior, he's also our great physician, he's our healer, he's our friend, he is the one that is walking beside you and beside me even now. So I'd like to invite you to join me for four very special services this week. First tomorrow, 9.30 a.m., Palm Sunday worship. And we're going to worship together and pray together and lift up the name of Jesus, who is our source of hope. Then on Thursday, we're going to go back to our roots. April 8th is actually the beginning of Passover. And when God told the children of Israel in answer to their prayer for freedom that they needed to go home and prepare a meal for they were going about to be free, they go exactly and do what God tells them to do. We're going to relive some of those roots for Jesus initiates the new covenant as they celebrate the Passover in that upper room that Thursday night. And we're going to walk with Jesus up the Via Dolorosa on Good Friday as he literally will take all of our sins to the cross, all of the sins of this world, all of the hopelessness and despair and sickness that needed to be paid for. And we're going to walk with him and hear his words of life and comfort and grace even as he battles Satan and death and sin. And he will win the victory because we're going to celebrate our source of hope on Resurrection Sunday. The world calls it Easter Sunday. We call it Resurrection Sunday because in the, in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we receive this greatest gift of all, the source of life and salvation and peace and forgiveness and love. And the Jesus that we will worship this Easter Sunday, this Resurrection Sunday, is the one who is hearing your prayers now. Yes, it's a difficult time, but we are holding together with that source of living hope that we have in Jesus. I pray for him to strengthen you, and I invite you to join us each of these worship services, 9.30 on both Sundays, 6 p.m. on Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. God bless you, and may this be perhaps one of our most special times of worship together is the body of Christ. I love you. God be with you.